I have like even realized um, my passion for art like even stronger now, you know, because like it used to be like a hobby, like I was like just doing it for fun, um, but now it's like like I really want to do this for the rest of my life. Yeah, I have like five pets, and I mean I've always been interested in, uh, in like animal care. We started this because they wanted to see like, what we wanted to do like after high school, like like business, uh, like some people doing dancing, like your passion. Yay. My name is Selena Robinson. Um, I'm in 11th grade and my internship is at University City Arts League. My name is Henry Tober. I'm an 11th grader. Go to the workshop school and my internship is at the Enterprise Center. My name is Nate. I'm in 11th grade and my, uh, my internship is at the Morris Animal Refuge. I'll be right up, guys, all right? Uh, my name is Jesse Braxton. Uh, I have been teaching at the workshop school for three years and I am an 11th grade advisor. Make sure you understand what you're going to be grading. Regardless of whether or not you're interested in college or auto or anything else, the internship experience itself is so important um, in that both the process of figuring out what is it you want to do, looking for an internship which models the job search process in terms of networking and outreach and communication and all that kind of stuff, and then actually learning how a workplace works in an area that hopefully you care about. Henry is uh, interested in entrepreneurship. I'm going to type it. Yeah. Today, which is no, no, type it up. They have a computer there that you can use, right? And the Enterprise Center is a place that um, helps people of color start their own businesses. So Henry is there kind of, he's working particularly in their culinary center. So they have different people that use, uh, they have a, a full industrial kitchen space there. Um, and Henry goes in and works with different, uh, different small business owners who come in for a period of time and they'll use the kitchen to produce something. Um, and that way they don't, as small business people, they don't have to own their own industrial kitchen. They can just come in and use the one at the Enterprise Center and Henry is there to help them out. Um, and he's interested in learning from them about what does it take to run a small business. Henry has been a wonderful help to me. Uh, he knows I'm going to be here every Wednesday. I know Henry's going to be here every Wednesday. And uh, since he comes, he helps me bag the granola. Um, Henry is now, like, he takes the initiative. He doesn't have to ask anymore what needs to be done, what doesn't need to be done. Uh, so I wanted to start my own club when I have my own business. And, like, me working at the Enterprise and changing my mind. But I don't know what to do yet. At first, I wanted to be a basketball player, but I don't like train enough or I'm too lazy. I like staying in the house playing the game, so I don't got time to like be outside practicing and stuff. So I just changed my mind and like wanted to be an entrepreneur and start my own business. Twelfth grade, the way that we're set up, we have, um, we have one advisory that is really focused on entrepreneurship. Um, and so students who have had the internship experience and who have come up with a pitch for a business or a nonprofit um, can kind of slide into the entrepreneurship advisory and, uh, and start actually figuring something out about what does it mean to run that business. Either way, um, students are going into their senior year hopefully with some idea of what, what is their interest, what is their talent, what is their passion. 
um, and some idea of how they could go about pursuing that. At the college, having my own business, a lot of people buying my products, getting a lot of money. Mm. I wake up thinking about like staying my own business. So. My career goals are that I'd like to be a either a comic book artist. Um, that I love comics. I've always loved them since I was like <laughs> young. I was super young. I've always loved uh, seeing like images on a page just like meld into another image. These are my art portfolio, and then the other one is my sketchbook. So if you want to take a look at those, that's. <laughs> Serena has a great internship at University City Arts League, so it's a, a community arts program, um, and they do a lot of work with students in school, providing art classes for students in various different places, and so Selena, a, a big part of her internship there is preparing materials for the different groups of students and the different projects that they're doing there. So Selena comes here, she's here every Wednesday and Friday. Um, this started at the beginning of the year when some folks from the workshop school came. They met with us, asked us if we were interested. Um, they're one of our partner schools. Sometimes Selena makes clay. Um, she is really running around doing all of the random things that I'm usually um, trying to shove into my day. You can look on the side of it, and it actually has the whole recipe on it. So I say chemistry can be really, really awesome. Just trying to trying to get her to some different places and different spaces, and also just help her grow in her her own artistic journey. Like, I'm proud of this. I want this to be, you know, something that people like, that people enjoy. Um, I see my art now as like a, a fragment of me rather than just, you know, something I've done, like something I made. You know, I feel like every part that, like every piece that I make is like something I put a lot of effort into and I've gotten a lot more confidence since then. Um, I'm really proud of it though. I, I didn't think it was gonna turn out like as good as it did, but it did, and I can't believe it. So, very cool. They take in the dogs or the cats, and it doesn't matter if it's a rescue, a stray, or a surrender, they, they take it in. <laughs> the day that we go is like every Wednesday and Friday. I clean out the cages, like uh, they have like the cats. Um, Refill the water, uh, give them new, like, uh, like just give them new stuff. If their cages are ripped out, gotta take them with the, gotta take the cat out, the, uh, take the cages, clean the cages, and then put everything back. Uh, that's been a really great experience for him. He gets to work with dogs and cats, and uh, and they're animals who have been on the street, um, and a lot of them are in rough shape. And so they come into the shelter, and uh, and he's doing his project for his internship is profiling these animals. What are they like when they come into the shelter, and then what are they like when they leave and they get adopted? Um, so it's very sweet. It's very a touching thing to get to see. I mean, my favorite dog already left, but yeah, it, 
I was the most happy that he left. Uh, yeah. yeah, his name was uh, Zeus. He was a uh, pit bull. When he got there, I mean, he was there before I was there. Um, he was about 40 pounds overweight. Um, he, one of his uh, paws were hurt when he got there, and they fixed all that right, right when he left. And I mean, his same, he had the same exact attitude as when he got there. See what he was doing. Thank you. Everything I do there, I pretty much like it, as long as it's like hands on with the animals. I enjoy being there and I'm very thankful to be there. But yeah, responsibility is the biggest thing I probably learned about myself and learned there. Uh, anybody have any other questions that you should ask yourself if you're trying to make that decision for a profit? 11.15, so that gives you about 35 minutes to work on your blog entries. There's 21 students who have 21 different interests and want to do 21 different things. It's a lot of one-on-one -on -one with everybody. There's not a whole lot of me standing in front of the class and saying, now everybody do this. You know, it's more like, OK, Saimir, let's sit down and talk for a while. Like, what are you interested in? Like, what's an organization that you could reach out to? Like, our school is, like, based on collaborating with each other. Like, that's why we have, like, group pro like, all the projects we do, it's like, uh, Hands on. Most of what you see in this place, whether it's internships or entrepreneurship or projects, is an outgrowth of that need to like, how do we create learning experiences that cultivate the skills that kids really need? It's really a, a valuable opportunity for students to get to pursue something that is of interest to them and figure out, is that a career that they would actually like or not? And if not, then you know, what else is out there? Workshop has been more than a blessing, I feel like. I've made a lot of friendships. I've made a lot of uh, commitments. I've had a relationship that I've sustained since being there. Like, that's two years, <laughs> you know? It's crazy. I don't think I would have fit in in those schools, but I fit in here, and that's the most important part. Um, that I feel like, feel like I belong. And that's what I feel like. I feel like I belong at Blake Show.